lot of people that walk in for the first time go, is this a consignment store? Like they don't get it at first, but then they get hooked and they come back. I shop at Squan Dry Goods because um, me and my mom have been coming here for years. I can sign my own clothes here and I always find really unique and cool things to buy from the store. So It's a unique store that sells recycled merchandise and new merchandise combined, but everything's value priced. I lived in New York City for 12 years and there's like some really funky, nice, cool stores in the village. And I thought maybe it might translate at the shore. So I tried to open some like a Soho type store at the shore. The atmosphere is really cool. Um, the items, great clothing, affordable prices. And it's a lot of people come in to find that perfect thing at a really good price. I think a lot of people come back because it has a really good vibe here. Um, everyone behind the counter is really personal and uh, we all um, are welcoming and we always help the customers and I think everyone really enjoys um, the smiles behind the counter. I like the atmosphere. Um, it's cleaner, everybody's very helpful. In this store, everything about it is very like very close, very homey. Um, I feel like things here are very easy to find. I think what sets us apart is number one, we're open seven days. We take consignment seven days. You don't need an appointment. We're picky about what we take, but we always try to find a few items if somebody doesn't bring in exactly what we're looking for that day. We don't have a lot of rules. We pay every day except Sunday. You don't have to make an appointment to get paid. You can use your money as store credit any time of the month. Um, and we're large, you know, we have 13 rooms and it's kind of displayed funky. I have a really personal relationship with everyone here. Um, I've been working here for five years, so I come to know a lot of the consigners when they come in, and you get to know their accounts. Um, so I know a lot of their codes, and when they come in, they don't even have to give me their last name. So it's really nice, and um, they just drop off, and it makes it a lot easier when um, you get to know the consigner. Yeah, we know a lot about all of our customers. Um, we know when they're getting divorced. We know when they're getting remarried. Um, when they're having surgery, we know, you know, they've become like our family. So we, we feel like sometimes we're like, we should have a doctor is in sign over us because we're therapists and friends and yeah. They come in, they see the same people working here behind the counter. And also when they're in here, they see other shoppers who come in all the time. So it's kind of a meeting place for some people. They come in and they give uh, some vintage items and they'll tell us the stories um, from the, their past and we're bringing pictures of them in them, so that's always really nice to see. And people bring them in. We are able to tell the new person where they came from. You know, this was worn in Paris. Um, this woman wore this in the 70s for her wedding. She was like a flower child. People tell me when they go on trips, like this girl had this really cool purse and she said she got it when she was in Austria and she was consigning it because she wanted a new purse but she told it had a lift ticket in there from when she went skiing so that was kind of cool. One vintage piece, it was a really, um, it was an evening dress and uh, the woman was from I think the 60s and she had, um, I don't know what they were, the long um, cigarettes and there's a picture of her with um, the cigarette, it was really cool and it was from a ball or something but we had that for a while, it actually sold um, last year though. We have some vintage items now from the 50s, 60s, 70s. We have one, one older woman who um, has a house in Palm Beach and lives up here who has beautiful furs. She's in her late 80s probably, I won't say her name, but every time she brings something in, it's got a story. Like, you know, I wore this in Paris, I wore this when I had dinner with the president in 1970. She has a very, very interesting life. And, so all her stuff has good karma. Whenever anybody buys anything from her, I always say that has good karma. Because <laughs> she has she led a very full, you know, very interesting life. They're my sons, and then I say, oh, this was his milestone. You know, he walked his first step in this shirt or whatnot. Um, and then we can pass it on to the next generation. But the really important ones to me, I obviously I don't donate, I keep them at home, but the ones that you know, he wears, but I know he'll never wear again. Um, I bring them here and I, you know, want to help recycle and let other parents give them and pass them on to their kids. My first two employees are now seniors in college and they started with me when they were in 10th grade at Manasquan High School and they come back every summer, they come back for all their breaks. 
and they're like my kids. They love coming here. We have so many regulars. I don't know if you noticed, but when you were in here, I was saying hi to every, I mean, they're all people that we know. To give people in this economy a place to go, an outlet where you can still find designer outfits at a reasonable price, it's all about value now. And recycling is good for everybody. So instead of throwing your stuff in a bin or leaving it in your attic for years to grow out of style, somebody else gets to use it. I think a store like Squan Dragons is really unique. Um, you find things that uh, might not be that aren't in stores anymore, and um, pieces that um, you can't see anywhere else um, anymore. So it's really cool, and you get them really cheap, and it's uh, really nice because instead of spending $100 on a shirt, you're spending $8 on a shirt that was $100 uh, in the past. So instead of going to the retail stores, you're getting something that was at the retail store for a good price. When people come in here, they know they're going to know someone behind the counter. If you go to a big box store, you don't know who's going to help you at the store. It's really the only consignment store that I've ever donated to, and I don't ever see myself going anywhere else. It kind of brings a lot of people together. Everybody shops here. Everybody consigns their clothes here. It's done well. It's, um, it's growing every year. Even with the hurricane, we were able to come back pretty quickly, gave away a lot of stuff. Um, so we, it was like a month of no business, but um, everybody's so loyal um, to us, our customers, and they came back. I think we'll continue to grow.